a right wing watchdog group that is a watchdog group that that watches the right wing. They've uncovered something quite sinister related to uh, Ron DeSantis. So this is put up 10A. Okay, so this is the Twitter account Patriot Takes. And uh, they tweeted out, Ron DeSantis' family is wearing the exact same clothes in both their Christmas and New Year Instagram posts. This is, this is stunning. This is a stunning, I, I think there's going to be a Pulitzer, Pulitzer Prize for this. This is maybe the great, perhaps the greatest political scandal, certainly of the 21st century. That Ron DeSantis' family, they're wearing the same clothing in, in what's going on here exactly. And then you, you click on that tweet and you read all the comments underneath it. And it's a bunch of people asking that, what's going on? What's, what's, what is, what's happening? What does this all mean? Wearing the same clothing in two different... Well, I, I just have a, one theory here, if I, if I could. It could be that there's something really sinister happening. I don't know. Or it could be that Ron DeSantis got his family together for a photo shoot. And I can guarantee you it wasn't his idea. It was his wife's idea. It's never the man's idea. So I should say, Ron DeSantis' wife got the family together for a photo shoot, forced them all there, and then what, what they did was they took multiple photos. And now his social media team is putting those photos up at various different times. Because what I can tell you from experience, again, is that um, this is one of the reasons why, as a man, it'll, it'll never be your decision to take any kind of photo shoot. Because it's, it's, it's not, we want to talk about cost-benefit analysis, never worth the cost. Because first, you got to get all those kids in the nice clothing, and that's a whole ordeal. And you've got to, the clothing has to stay nice, at least the part that's visible for the camera has to stay nice long enough for the pictures to be taken. And that's usually feasible with, so he's got two girls there. That's Okay, you can put them in nice clothing and uh, let them walk around the house a little bit, and they'll be fine. But with a boy, you put him in nice clothing, and within five minutes, it's, it looks like he was rolling around in a barn. So you do all that, you keep them clean, you, you, you get them into an environment, you got the, the photographer there, and to actually get them to look at a camera and smile, if you can, if you can get them in that, the, the mood where they're actually going to do that, where well, you're going to take full advantage and take as many pictures as you can, especially if your wife is forcing you. So I think that probably explains how this happened, if anyone is, is wondering. Listen, hit that subscribe button right now. Do it right now. I thank you for your compliance. It is somewhat appreciated.